What's up guys, my name is Brendan and today I want to teach you how to double cork. The only prerequisite that I have for you guys is the cork itself. Now whenever you're learning a new move, the more you know, the more experience you have going into it, the easier it will be to learn. So if you can cork, if you can hyper cork, if you can double full, double cork will come a lot easier, but I think the only thing you really need is a cork. So let's get right into it. First, I want to go over the technique with you guys. Now the double cork is going to start just like the cork did in an eagle position. So use whatever setup is most comfortable for you. Now we're gonna go from that eagle with both of our arms back and our right leg back ready to swing. We're gonna drop it and swing everything in front of us into our set. Now the set for your double cork is gonna be the same as the set for your cork, which is the gainer. We're gonna try and bring our arms up in front of us about shoulder width level and try and kick our right leg between our shoulder and ear, trying to get the biggest, floatiest gainer we can. And we're gonna focus on the set in the gainer position until we leave the ground. Once you leave the ground, the set portion of your double cork is over and we can initiate our twist. Now the twist is gonna start at the head and then progress down the body. We're gonna look towards our left and as we look to our left, we're gonna bring our arms in towards our left shoulder. As we do this, we're gonna try and straighten our core and our hips and bring our legs together and get into the twisting position, which looks just like this. Nice, solid, and tight. Now we're gonna hold that twisting position the whole time. We're gonna make sure we spot the ground not once, but twice. And after you get that second spot of the ground, we can focus on the landing. Now the landing of the double cork is just like the landing of the cork. You're gonna open your arms and pull them behind you as you reach out your left leg towards the ground and you land in a nice eagle position. The double cork starts in an eagle and it ends in an eagle. Now guys, that's the basic technique, but I wanna give you guys some drills and some tips on how to land and perfect the skill. First, I wanna give you guys a drill to help you guys understand and conceptualize the twisting position that I'm talking about. Lay down on your back and get your swing leg up in the air as well as your arms. From there, bring your legs together and pull your arms towards your twisting shoulder. What that's gonna do is it's gonna roll you on the ground a little bit. It'll get you comfortable with the twisting position. Now make sure you're penciling out on the ground and laying as flat as you can. The tighter you pencil out, the faster you're gonna twist. Second thing I have for you guys is a tip. Your double cork and your single cork have the same amount of flip. So make sure you're setting for your flip first and focusing on the twist second. If you under twist a skill, you're still landing on your feet. But if you under flip, you're landing on your face or your knees and your arms and that's more prone to injury than if you under twist it but still land on your feet. So always focus on getting the right amount of flip first and then the twist. And third, one last tip, stay tight. Everything from your arms to your core to your legs. Flex everything and squeeze it as tight as you can and as close to your body as you can. The more you squeeze and the tighter you are, the faster you'll twist. Keep that in mind because that's how you turn a double cork into a triple cork. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm not in the usual facility. That's because there's a gym overnight happening here at Alternate Roots, December 2nd. There's a link in the description. Please check it out. Come train with me. It's gonna be an absolute blast. I am beyond thrilled. Overnight sessions here at Alternate Roots are one of my favorite things in the world. So thank you so much for Tony for letting us put it on, for letting me film here. It means the world to me. And a special thank you to all the patrons. Really, you guys are the ones that are funding this series and bringing it to the light. It really means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a lovely day.